Hi, I'm Dan Vandermeer, Principal at Millwoods Christian School. We know you have lots of questions about what school will look like this year when your child returns to in-person classes in September. The safety and well-being of our students, families and staff is our greatest priority. Be sure to use the self-screening questionnaire every day to decide whether or not your child should attend school. We want to show you some of the changes we've implemented to keep students as safe as possible. Here's what you can expect when your child comes back to school in September. Arriving at our school will look a little different than what you're used to. In order to make this a smooth transition, we're asking for your help. We know that this is a big shift for our community, but we are confident that everyone desires to make this a safe and welcoming place for all of our students. As Edmonton Public requests, uh, we are going to ask that parents stay in their vehicles when you drop off and pick up your children. Our drop-off zones are going to be in front of the church building. If at all possible, please do a quick kiss and go here. If your children require extra time to exit the vehicle, you may park in the south parking lot, but please caution your children to be careful as they cross over the sidewalk. We will have several supervisors directing students to their teachers once, their stu once your students arrive. In our re-entry plan, which you can find on our website and on School Zone, you can take a look at the chart that shows where each grade of students enters their buildings. We will make sure everything is signed very well. For the first few weeks of September though, we will ask that all K-7 students line up with their teachers in the designated areas on the west field. This way, parents will be able to see their children line up from the parking lot and know they are safe and with their teachers. Once the bell rings to go inside, teachers will lead their students to the entrance where they will sanitize their hands and enter the building and then go to their classrooms. Teachers will be coaching students on the protocols to ensure each child feels comfortable and understands the process. Please encourage your child to ask questions if they do not understand. Grade 8 students will line up on the basketball court where their teachers will be waiting for them. Grade 9 to 12 students can proceed directly to the main entrances indicated on the re-entry plan and wait to be led into their buildings by their cohort teachers. Watch for the signs to ensure you are lining up where you need to be. If as a parent or guardian you need to enter the school for any reason, you must book an appointment with our school office. Before students enter the buildings, they will be required to sanitize their hands. Upon entering their classroom, students will always enter buildings one cohort at a time and proceed directly to their classrooms, where they will put their backpacks on the back of their desk chair and then take their seat. Students in grades 4 to 12 will wear their masks throughout the day. Students in K-3 are welcome to wear masks if they prefer to. When students need to go outside, they will always use the same entrance that they use to enter the building. Our teachers will make sure that this is done in individual cohorts. This will help everyone to keep physically distanced. So this is the area that we'll be asking kindergarten uh, parents to drop off their kids. So just uh, right in front of the uh, entrance to the breezeway of the church here. And they'll always be the kindergarten teacher or an EA or some other staff member uh, here to collect the kindergarten kids and take them to their classroom. We understand this has been a challenging time. We've missed you so much and we're so excited to welcome back our staff and students. We know that this year will hold a lot of challenges, but we know that God can still have big plans for our school. If we work together and rely on Him, we know that we're going to make this a good year. Thanks so much. If you have additional questions, please feel free to call us. You can also check out our school re-entry strategy on our school website. Thanks and we'll see you in September.